Welcome to Stars Accounting TV. I'm Lee Hanischek, and I'm joined here by our trackside commentator, Scott Old. And uh, Scott, there's a real buzz in the air around the Newcastle pit area. It's not your normal race menu we've seen over the last few years, really, is it? No, it's not, you know, and I think it's, it's CIK, it's back, you know, and uh, the guys are pumped. Uh, obviously, getting back to a sticky tyre, some great engines out there singing along nicely. So, mate, it's great to see, and that's why we're getting some great spectators here. CRK is back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And you could see it, certainly after race two, uh, you could certainly see uh, just tyre, rubber just flaking off the tyre. So the tyres are picking up rubber as well, and then just shooting it off again. So rubber's flying everywhere, and the guys are really unbelievably impressed on how much rubber's getting laid down here this weekend. I think that's one of the issues that have faced some drivers this weekend, is the fact that there's more rubber go down, um, and tyre wear is certainly uh, a big part in this, uh, this CLK series. Yeah, you betcha. Actually, seeing in race three, that was a major part of it. We saw uh, a lot of guys massive understeer, and obviously because the cart's stuck to the track, they're struggling for steer. So uh, major changes in setup. We're going to see some great action tomorrow. So in the pro gearbox category today, they certainly brought the fans to the fence. There's no doubt about it, is there, Scott? Mate, it was fantastic to see. You know, these guys, 6B Gearbox, had over 40 changes a lap. Made it fantastic, and a standstill start. Loved it. It was great stuff. It certainly is, and the standout in Pro Gearbox today was none other than the Vodafone back Tony Kart driver of Chris Hayes. Now, we spoke to him at the track this afternoon about who he's got in his corner. Uh, Mr. Wally, as they call him, uh, he's my teammate, a uh, very experienced driver in uh, KZ2, which is uh, great to have him on the side. I can ask him for advice or if I need any help with changing gears or what gear to go to. And John Target, working on my uh, car, being my mechanic, which is also really great, and he's doing a fantastic job. Chris, it's 1,024 metres around here at Newcastle. Talk us through the gear changes and also well, what speed are you doing around here? Oh, up the straight we're doing actually 131 which is awesome in a shifter car up the straight you know it's probably the fastest go-kart around and uh doing around about 41 gear changes a lap which is uh, a big effort in a kz cart and uh throws you around a fair bit but it's awesome to drive last year we seen chris hayes win the national junior clubman championship this year scott he's made the step up to seniors and certainly going along gangbusters really yeah. It's probably the best word for it. I tell you what, he's, uh, you know, straight into seniors. Vicky Open, bang, wins a Vicky Open in Clubman Light. Now, that is class, a very tough class, and to win it in Victoria, mate, that's gave him the biggest confidence boost ever for uh, this weekend. Yeah, it certainly has, and he was very strong last weekend in a lead-up event in Geelong in the gearbox class. Today, off the start line for a couple of them. Didn't quite get it right, but then just drove it very smooth, and he was right on the money. Yeah, it was, you know, and, and still such a young age, you know, he's, he lost the start, but he just calmly, like, got a rhythm going and put it back together and just drove through to take uh, some, a great victory today. Yep, certainly did. So Chris Hayes will be one to watch. His teammate Matt Wall tomorrow will be yeah. certainly tough. Justin Ruggier had a bit of a tough day today, didn't he? Oh, mate, I spoke to him uh, in pit lane, and boy, oh boy, uh, you know, he, he had to come out. He had to run in an engine uh, in one of the races. Uh, but he fought back well in race three, and, uh, mate, I think he's going to be um, not so much a dark horse, but he's going to be there in the pointy end for sure. I think Geordie Lindstrom also, he will be very tough to beat. The pro karting pilot really starting to, to come to grips with the Tony Kart gearbox. Yeah, yeah. looking colourful, creative. Uh, those guys made a big change in going into race three. They made some changes with the cart, and I think it paid off, and uh, they're quite happy. Well, tomorrow I think we'll find that the pro gearbox class will certainly bring more people to the fence, and it's going to be one hell of a final. <laughs> Well, in the pro light category, much of the pre-season hype was all about the local guys in the way of Hayden McBride and Simon Roberts. They were going to go head-to-head. -head. Hasn't quite panned out that way. A young lad from Gladstone, it's certainly shown them how it's done. Yeah, he was, you know, and, and you're right. Uh, Hayden McBride, he's, he's won a national title here before, so he knows how to win here. And uh, to see... Kim Fothergill, well, he did a magical job today. Even this morning uh, in practice... Uh, the circuit was greasy, didn't seem to phase him. Those guys are on track for one shaping up to be a great weekend. Ken certainly doing a great job, and we spoke to him after today's third heat about his plans for tomorrow's finals. Uh, hopefully the rain holds off because we've got a fast cart in the dry, so um, yeah, we'll just hopefully get it right for the day. So two more to go. Quickly on John Grother, he uh, 
won the final two rounds last year. How much are you sort of going on his knowledge of uh, CIK racing? Yeah, he's given us a lot of help uh, leading up to this championship. We've had a uh, few weeks uh, preparing, uh, talking together, getting all our gear ready. So we're happy, uh, we're working well together, and let's just hope we can keep going like that. So. Well, as you can see there, Scott, Keen is a very confident young fellow. Yeah, it's great. They're both in a cosmic cart, so it's a new chassis for these guys. And uh, Johnny was saying that they're just massaging the cart constantly to find which direction go for, for Sunday's final. So uh, I think both of those guys are going to be in uh, good shape tomorrow. Well, the champions in the Pro Junior category in the past have included Ryan Briscoe, Tim Slade, Michael Caruso. The list is, goes on and on. Yeah. It's back. Pro oh, yeah. Junior KF3 as it's known now. It hit the track today and the young CRG Sydney sider of Pierce Lehane was head and shoulders above the rest. Yeah, he was, and uh, one thing I've noticed about Pierce, uh, last year I was lucky enough to, to go to the World Finals with Pierce uh, for Team Australia, and after coming from that event, that's just gave him a biggest boost. Uh, the racing is so tough in Europe, and coming back, he is stronger and stronger than ever, so uh, he's looking in for fine form this weekend. Well, after such a dominant performance, we spoke with Pierce Lahane in the pit area this afternoon about his involvement with the CRG Australia team. I've been with the team for two years now. Um, I'm running the CRG 3030 Black Diamond, which is the Clubman Heavy Chassis. How is it to drive the KF3 engine compared to other engines you've driven? Um, and how have you adapted your driving style? I really didn't need to adapt my driving style that much. It was um, just sort of jump in it and my style was suited to it. Tomorrow, it's a big day. You've got two long finals. What are you looking forward to most? Uh, looking forward to most getting out front and driving away. Well, one of the things we have noticed today is that a lot of the Pro Junior guys are still coming to grips very much with the new Dunlop DDM tyre, the new KF3 specification Vortex engine, and some of them are struggling. Some of them have got some very experienced campaigners in their camp yeah. as well. Yeah, you're right. Uh, Troy Hunt just rings a bell straight away. Uh, he's, he's, he's looking after a couple of drivers in this junior category. And the biggest thing about CIK, grippy tyre, is uh, conserving the tyre, keeping it drivable for the three heats. And obviously these guys have got to deal with, uh, you know, two finals tomorrow. And uh, we certainly saw a lot of guys starting to struggle in that third heat there. Massive understeer uh, and tyres really starting to chop out. Yeah, it would certainly be interesting to see if anyone can catch Pierce Lehane in his CRG tomorrow. It's going to be one hell of a day tomorrow trackside at Newcastle. We'll be there. We yeah. hope to see as many people out there as possible for the Newcastle area. And if you can't get there, be sure to log on to www.starsacarding.com.au and we'll give you all the action. Yeah.